Hey guys, this is my controller for arcade fighting games. This is the Canva Obsidian HBX, uh, custom made by a company in Los Angeles uh, called Arcade Shock. I will link their website in the description box below. I did an unboxing uh, on this hitbox or button box, whatever you prefer to call it. I know um, some people don't like the term hitbox because, well, not the term hitbox, but they don't like calling this the hitbox because there's another company called Hitbox that this uh, particular button style or button configuration came from. And what you obviously probably have noticed, but for some of you that uh, don't know, there's usually a stick right here, what you're used to with uh, most arcade games, uh, not just fighting games, but there's usually a joystick right here. But this particular uh, hitbox is has these uh, four buttons right here for, this is for down, right, back, and jump. And uh, the unique thing about this is it gives you a different kind of control. I don't want to say an advantage, although some people might say that there is. And in certain situations, uh, there's things that can be easier with this and things that could be harder with this depending on what preference you want. But I did an unboxing video on this about 10 months back and I just wanted to do this follow-up video. And to save you guys time from going to that uh, unboxing video, I'll link it either in an iCard or in the description box below, but I uploaded it on my other channel. Uh, so I don't want to confuse you guys, but I'll save you guys the time. And what comes in this box, uh, and it does come in this box from Arcade Shock, is this controller. But I have put different buttons in. These, are, these buttons are from Gamerfinger. Um, also, I will link their website in the description box below. But the buttons that came with uh, the hitbox from Arcade Shock were the Sanwa buttons uh, right here. And these are more of like the clicky, uh, you know, more traditional, I guess, buttons. As you can hear the clicking. And I put these uh, gamer finger buttons Uh, in myself, which I probably should have made a video on, but I wasn't sure how long it was going to take. I did it completely by myself, and it actually turned out to be pretty easy. Uh, but these buttons here have uh, cherry silver switches in, and they're silent. More silent, I guess, compared to, you know, if you hear the sound difference. So I put these in and they're supposed to be like 33% faster in which to me, since I'm not very good, I did notice that it did help uh, with my combos when I was practicing combos in Street Fighter. I primarily primarily play uh, Street Fighter V, but I noticed with like the uh, faster switches, it just like seemed a lot more accurate for me since I'm not that good. So these are the these were the original buttons that came with the uh, with the Obsidian from Arcade Shock, and unfortunately, I've had a lot of questions about uh, this hitbox button box, uh, and it seems to be off the Arcade Shock site. Uh, one of the comments in the other video said that they did email. Arcade Shock and Arcade Shock responded that it was discontinued. I've also reached out to Arcade Shock and they haven't responded yet. I'm sure I have no doubt that they they will. I'm I'm sure they will. Uh, but I just haven't heard anything yet. Uh, so part of this video, I wanted to maybe give you guys or help you guys uh, maybe with some alternatives. There's um, if you give me a second, I'm gonna look here. Uh, yeah, um, hitboxarcade.com 
Uh, I'll like I said, I'll link all of this stuff in the description box below. And there's also these kind of neat um, snack box uh, micros from junkfoodarcades.com. And this will also be linked in the description box below that you guys can go check out. Uh, they are like a lot smaller, as you can see. And what other websites? Oh, and the uh, Gamer Finger uh, website. I will also have a link in the description box below. Uh, if you are planning on ordering from Gamer Finger, like for me, uh, during like the quarantine and COVID and everything, it took about four months for me to get these buttons. And I've had this hitbox for about 10 months now, for around 10 months. So it's like almost a year. But you can, on the website, you can customize like what kind of color configurations you want. And I just went with like the really monotone colors because I think it looks cleaner, I guess. Um, not that I'm trying to make it look clean. I just like the look of this. Uh, before it was like these three were red, this was red, and then the rest of them were white. But uh, just to give you a quick overview on everything so you don't have to go back to the uh, unboxing video, there, there's where all your, oh, I almost bumped into the mic. There's where all of your like PlayStation controls are up top there. Uh, we have kind of difficult to do with the mic right here okay so we have the playstation button the share button the turbo a turbo button um mode button l3 r3 options led which is really cool oh and you can lock the controller right here uh so you don't accidentally press anything you don't want to press during a match and the touchpad thing for ps4 is right there and these do work and it's been confirmed these do these uh like fighting game accessories uh, will work with the PS5. It has been confirmed. Uh, this is Canva is also an official licensed product for PlayStation. Uh, there's some other company. I don't think Mad Cats makes any more uh, sticks as of right now. Uh, last I heard, though, uh, Logitech did buy them out. So that'd be pretty cool to see what Logitech could do with that company. Um, but anyways, okay, so let me get these buttons out of the way. So the a more traditional stick and a popular stick is the uh, Victrix. Is the uh, Victrix Pro FS, which is what I started on. Uh, well, I started on a Razer, actually, but... Uh, um, the Victrix Pro, Pro FS is like another pretty popular uh, choice for players. And here they are side by side. If you're curious about how they look side by side. Now, if, if Victrix makes a button box or a hit box, that would be pretty cool because the quality of these Victrix, Victrixes is just phenomenal and uh i'll do a, yeah i'll do a video on uh this box later too uh so it's got like a lot of handles for like uh transportation convenience and the inside of it here uh which would have made it easier for me to change the buttons on this if the uh canva had something a system like this uh, but yeah, here's a like the traditional, you know, arcade stick. Uh, I should have made a video on this. I didn't know it was going to be as easy as it was. But basically, it's just like these six screws underneath here. And yeah, you will have to go through the seal. There's one right here. You'll have to go through that uh, to open this completely. And all you do is just, you know, um, tear it apart and reverse what you did and put the new buttons in doesn't require a ton of tools but uh you might want some smaller like screwdrivers and stuff or you could easily just look up a video on how to do this that, that's what i did and i just i did it one afternoon it was pretty simple 
Uh, so that is the follow-up for this hitbox, the Canva Obsidian by Arcade Shock, but it's no longer on their site right now. So I am giving you guys um, some alternatives in the description box below. And I think that's it. Hopefully I'm not leaving anything out. So um, hope you guys found this video informative. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in learning more about uh, fight sticks in general. I'll have a couple more videos coming soon about other fight sticks and stuff. And if you have any questions, I'll either answer them in the comment section down below or I'll make another video uh, helping you guys try to figure out how to get one of these or if Ar uh, Arcade Shock updates me and lets me know anything, any news that I get, I'll let you guys know. So please subscribe if you guys would like to know more about that. If not, that's totally cool too. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys for now. Hey guys, it's me again and no joke, um, in the video, uh, my phone went off and it's actually uh, from, uh, is that too close? Uh, maybe the screen's too bright, it's not focusing, but it's actually from Arcade Shock. Um, so I will read it to you guys. It says, uh, hi, thank you for your support on, thank you for, yeah, thank you for your support on that. It's dis discontinued, so, you have yourself a limited edition controller. I'm sorry, guys. That's probably not the news you guys wanted to hear, but here it is. I'll I'll um I'll show you guys the message that they sent me. It's focusing on um, but yeah, there it is. I said, hey guys, thanks for making us amazing products. Uh, will the Canva Obsidian HBX be making a return to the store? Question mark. I've had a lot of people asking me about mine, just seeing if I can spread any new any info their way. And they just replied right now. Uh, Hi, thank you for your support on that. Uh, it's discontinued, so you have yourself a limited edition controller. Okay, sorry about the bad news, guys, um, for now. But please stay in touch, and I will figure out uh, other alternatives for this layout. I know you guys probably want the Canva because uh, Daigo uses it, and I don't, I'm not sh sure who else uses it, but I know Daigo uses it, and you know who doesn't love Daigo. Uh, sorry for that loud noise that I just banged um on my table but i just feel really bad about that uh hopefully something comes up soon hopefully maybe victrix will uh, come and make up their own uh hit box or button box or maybe canva was like hey we're gonna start making them ourselves uh because um i know arcade shock has like a relationship like with canva and they're like uh oh they're like the first to be officially certified it says it on their website, officially certified to um, sell and offer custom variants of their Obsidian stick. And then they made the uh, hitbox layout. But yeah, sorry guys. Uh, I just got that message. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.